For this video, you will need the items on screen. So this is a uh, Ford Taurus and I am connecting a an aux installing basically a uh, aux input in it I've already created already made the connection I'm just disassembling it this is basically this is the uh, CD unit I've isolated the CD unit there's still a CD in it but I isolated it and making connection I'm removing the uh, the radio module Okay, so this is a Ford Taurus. You have to loosen this side screw up to be able to lift this up. There's the radio module. You're gonna put that on, put that aside. This is the CD. Okay, so let's pull out the CD real quick. Okay, <clears throat> basically, I took picture of this. I soldered. Uh, you're not gonna see this. I soldered this wire on three pins here. There's gonna be a picture of it after this. Um, on these three, uh, three, three solder points: the uh, uh, right out, left out, and the ground, which is labeled here you can't see it here but i'll show it to you later so here i have highlighted in red yellow and blue where you should solder you have in red the left out yellow the right out and blue the ground and this is what it looks like after you solder it i just secured this wire right here there's there are lots of room here where i could just route this back okay so what I'm gonna do is since we have a lot of okay I'll make sure that I got it okay since we have a lot of room on this side <clears throat> lots of room right here to install this I'm gonna make one of these holes here bigger and then um, I'm just gonna install it like so <clears throat> so we got the uh, connectors connected right there this would be my aux connection so I'm gonna reassemble this thing back together So this guy goes here and this one gets this clip right here will we'll hold this in so we're just gonna test that clip from the other side and tighten up the clip So, you know that's tight, you can't pull out that side anymore. Okay, so, uh, four mounting screws here, one, two, three, and four.
we'll put in the cover. And three mounting screws for the cover back. So we've we've assembled it, the uh, the CD unit and the the um, circuit board. Play. Uh, we're gonna install the body back. So this guy, these holes should be matching. So this one, this one, this one, and that one. So self-explanatory. You can just stick this thing in there. If the holes are matching, I'm going to put in our screws. Okay, then I'm just going to put this in. Just match up the knobs or not the knobs but the uh, should go in there it is so now we have four screws this one I think there's one in each corner so Okay, just trying to match the holes here. You should have done this while it's not tight. This one. This guy I think goes like this. And then the rest of the nut goes in so we're gonna go out to the car and try it. Okay. So I just have to, uh, I'm just gonna drop this at the back. Towards the back of the uh, vehicle. Wait. I'm just gonna drop it here. Can you reach under? Oh, yeah, it's right there. You see it? You see it? Right there. It's going to reach. And let's see if it goes in. Okay. Oh, what the heck is this? No. Oh. So this is now our ox. Let's turn it on. It's not playing. Oh. So now we have that CD aux connection. So to show you that that's the one working. Pull this out. So the um, the only thing is that if you don't have a CD installed, if you don't have a CD installed, I mean uh, um. You don't have a CD in that CD player, it's, this won't do crap. See, it's not gonna do anything. Try to see if you can play it. Yep, it won't play, huh? So, you gotta have a CD in there before you can play it. So, now we're playing CD. There you go. Project complete. Thank you for watching.